G'day fellas and welcome to more Beyond All Reason gameplay. We're here in the geothermal spot on Supreme Strait and I am going to be trying out vehicles for the first time in ever. Well, I say for the first time in ever. I've played them a couple of times, but not like, not the actual way that you're meant to play them. Now, and to be fair, I don't even know if technically the way that I'm playing them today will qualify as that. My plan is that I'm going to open with a bot lab and then I will reclaim and go into vehicles. And the reason why is just because I want Lazarus, right? Like, Lazarus are just way too good to not have on a map like this. There's just way too much energy. And sure, I could get Constructors out, but at the end of the day, I mean, a Lazarus is just so much stronger uh, than that. So that's what we're going to be looking to take advantage of here. So I'm going to throw this bad boy down. So I think we're just going to go with our, our pretty standard um, play style. Actually, yeah, these these guys should be fine here like that. I'm, I'm just going to put down a whole bunch of wind. So we'll open with... I think we just open with one Lazarus here, and then we'll go into two Constructors, and then we'll go into three Lazarus. I think that probably make, makes a decent number. Now, we are floating a lot of excess energy at the moment, so the wind is going very well for us. So hopefully that keeps up. Let's let's turn this up. Let's get this bad boy going a little bit more. All right, so we're, gonna, we're just going to hit the Lazarus straight away. It looks like my allies are kind of overflowing to me, so we're still going to just try this. Yeah, you can see I am like... I am blasting this out right now, so I'm I'm kind of tempted to just do a do one of these bad boys straight away and just put this down. I'm scared that if the wind goes down, I'm not going to be able to support it. Let's just get the com over there straight away. Yeah, we we can actually we're, we're holding on this. This is absolutely fine. So we're a little bit that makes us a little bit later on our um on our Lazarus for the rocks and all that, but. I think that's fine. So the general plan here, let's let's talk a little bit a bit about like what the general plan is. So I'm I'm going to be opening up with bots, uh, and then I'm going to be going into. Let's can we connect those? Oh, I don't think we can connect those. Oh, that's a bit awkward. That's okay though. Um, actually, now that I've got that out, I can just make I can just go windmill full time. Let's not put that one down. Uh, yeah. So general plan is I'm going to go into um, bots to open with, and then I'm going to be going into. Are you coming down for my rocks? That's alright. I'll permit it. Uh, and then I'll be going into uh, Shell Shockers, or I, I think they're called Shell Shockers. I can't remember exactly what they're called, but all, all I know is they're like the the artillery. And that, that's way too loud now. i got to turn that bad boy down. Uh, so I think we're good here on on this front. I think I'm just going to I'm gonna pull out of that. Aircraft spotted. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to put this down right now. And then get this guy to help out with it for the moment. Uh, and let's, let's, I think we still probably want to just add in, let's add in a couple more of these. I just got to make sure all of my dudes are doing things. Actually, let's just do that. Because that's in range. Yeah, perfect. Cool, so that hit, hits all my targets. So we want to do that, and then we want to reclaim here. And we've got energy coming through now. So I'm pretty happy with the opening here. This guy probably should have helped out with this first, but it's almost finished at this point. So we just want to reclaim that when we've got a little bit of downtime right now, which is exactly what we do. And so I'm just going to go straight into Shell Shockers. So I'm going to begin pushing up. I, th I think we just go into five Shell Shockers. And we will be going for a very fast T2 as well. That's another thing to note. Uh, so let's... I think we can just put these... Let's just put these over here. I also want to put a radar down. I'm going to put two of these down. And then I'm going to put four more of these guys down. All right, so we've managed to reclaim. We've got our Geo coming up here. So I'm just going to... I I don't know whether we're going to blow comm early or whether we're just going to keep it for a little bit. But we're just going to start off with the Shell Shockers and the idea is that we want to support the front. So that's definitely going to do that. So Geo's up now. So I'm kind of tempted just to, to do that. And let's just add in just a little bit like that. Because I, I just want to make sure this is protected. Because I always get hit on this. So I just... I know it's going to happen. So I might as well just go ahead and just begin to do that now. And I think we're just going to continue working on win for the moment. Because we're playing a little bit more later. So the idea is that I want to hit them with Jaguars. I want to do like this kind of Jaguar timing. So I'm not sure how it's going to go. But we'll, we'll... We'll see. What's my attack range? I think we'll just go like that. So much... Re so many rocks up here, dude. Get me up there. Oh my lord. Have I got everybody doing things? I th I think I can probably go up. I've got five at the moment. I feel like five is probably enough, right? Like, that's that's not too bad. And it looks like their best player, I can see... Is he air? Their best player, I think, might be going backline air at the moment. 
Uh, oh, we, we need a construction vehicle out, so let's get that. All right, so we're picking up Resbot, anybody? Or for K-Corp? I don't know if I can do it for you, K-Corp. I, I, actually, I, I can't do it. I quite literally cannot do it for him. So let's put this down now. Oh my lord, that, that's frustrating, isn't it? Alright, so we want to go blow com. We definitely want to do that now-ish. Alright, and ideally, I, I want to be hitting this guy down here, the yellow guy, because I want to break in down on this direction like that. Uh... So that's all fine. So we're just going to pop here. Uh, he's got... Uh, I, I need to blow, but he's got... He's like right above me right now. So I got to be kind of careful with that. So let's just... Let's keep adding... I want to add wind over here. But I got to kind of keep it back from this. Actually, I don't know if we go big on that or not. Maybe, maybe we just go for the prude. So we're going to continue hitting them here. Hopefully they don't have the jammer up just yet. Wonderful. Okay, let's explode. Let's get out Lazarus over here. This guy was way too far away at this point. It's so nice to have fighters out here as well. And we're just pushing on the front. So when T2 comes, we're just going to start by going into our T2. Then we're going to get all of our mechs up and then we'll make units. Jeez, that commander exploded a little bit far, didn't he? Alright, so we're doing a good job to push them back. So I think that should be fine right there. Alright, so he's made a breakthrough, so that's wonderful. So now we're going to come up here and then look to shell from this side. T2 unit detected. What do we got? I don't see it. If I press F5, does that take it to me? No, does it take me to it? It doesn't. Oh, okay, that's not good. Uh, he's got commander out, so he should be fine. Okay, so let's begin. So that should be fine there. And we can throw this down, and our cons will help out as well. Oh, he, his entire base got destroyed. I just, I'm going to get a couple uh, Jaguars out just to deal with that, just because I'm kind of scared of it. do that instead so I think our artillery has done a pretty good job of pushing that back so Jaguars will go into control too that's our radar so radar spots everything so we know that we're okay so I'm just gonna I'm gonna end that for now and then that one will come up and then we go over to here and so he can help out there, and then we'll go into two more. And then I think we're just going to go for a prude. I don't think we need anything more than a prude. Yo, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I wasn't paying attention. Oh, that's a nice reclaim field. We're going to have to come grab this. It's got a lot of fair amount of units over there. All right, so I think we're good to start Jaguars now, because that's going to come up. This one's almost coming up. Let me fix that bad boy up. Let's, in fact, send those guys after him. So let's move these into Control Group 2, and then these guys are going to become in Control Group 1. So the Jaguars will become Control Group 1 now. All right, so we've got all four of our mechs up right now, uh, and we're about to start boosting these out. I don't know exactly how much metal this is going to be, but I think we probably want to wait until we've got about 10 of them, maybe 15, something around that number, and then we're just going to try and push through. I'm going to target the Geo on the other side, and I'm going to try and hit their best player, who I think is playing air, but I don't know 100%. Uh, so we're putting the Prude down. So with the Prude going down, I think we also want to just put a... We're going to put a Cobra down in front and also a Pitbull just to just to ward people off from this, because I'm, I'm really cognizant of this getting hit. And then once that's done, let's throw down another line right there. Oh, we got to keep producing. 
So I think we just get another 10 out or so. Look at our Lazarus up here. Just collecting metal for days. Oh, don't you love it? This is the best part. I, I, I love this, man. Reclaim is my favorite thing in this game. We got, we've already got like a really good position down here. And it's really, it's hard to gauge exactly how much metal I'm spending. It says 60 at the moment. So I think I can probably get away with throwing just down one more, maybe even two more here. So let's do that for now. And maybe we, do we send these in for our first rush? I think we do. It's like, it's quite, quite open. Our allies have done a decent job with that. Let's just keep collecting metal. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. This is really good. Ah, I hate it when they go around the, I just wish they'd all stay together. All right. So that's enough for now. Do we get out another T2? We're, we're stacking up energy, but it's not too bad. And let's just put this down here. All right, that should be fine. All right, let's wait for everything to get together. And we'll bring them back, our Lazarus back a little bit. Yeah, th their front is starting to fold already. So he's coming in on the water. So this is where we gotta be a bit careful. We don't want to get hit on the water, so we got to kind of come in. You're overflowing. I am metal. indeed. Let's fix that up. So let's do. I got to make sure that these are in range. Oh, what was that? Let's go. Let's go. I got to make sure they're split as well, so I can't get degunned. Hounds are out. We're gonna look for that geo. Let's bring our Lazarus down. Oh, oh, we're taking mad damage right there. There's the advanced gear. That is gone. Yeah, we're, th we're through. I think this just might be a good game. So let's do a split now and then come back like that. And we're just going to send one down over here. And we'll send one around the back like that. Welp, indeed, Gaith. Indeed. We're still overflowing because we're doing all of the reclaim. All right, so that's going to clean that part. He's going to come over there. Oh, strategic bomber. Coming in, weird angle. There's the commander. Let's split like that. We can always come back around. Hello. Oh, he's already got a Pop-Tart up. I don't know what you call those things. All right, we're looking good. We're already... We're just going straight into an Aphis, baby. Give it to me. Now we play the blame game. I mean, we've already done... Pretty good work over here. I'm, I'm happy with this. I mean, this this orange guy's still kind of in the game. Let's let's try and micro him. I, I do want to get this. Commander's doing his thing. Oh. Gunship. Two gunships. All right, let's just try and focus this. Uh, I think we're dead. I think we're dead. All right, I'll take that trade. I'll take that trade. I think that went really well. Let's let's go round two. I mean, we probably should have been going round two this whole time, right? Like, we, we're not even really thinking about that yet. I mean, we got Aphis coming up. Do we dare? Probably too much to be going round two right now. Okay, let's wait for the Aphis, and then we'll go. And you know what we'll do? We'll do, like, turtles or something silly. Oh, man, this game is so over. Oh, my Lord, look at this. Like, we're... we're yeah. <laughs> Well, I'll be honest, I kind of like going vehicles. That seemed to go well. I, uh, now, fortunately, I had a really good front line right there. They were holding, and they worked so well together with my my siege. And my, I think my artillery was really able to, to clear out. I, I'm just going to dive straight in. Dude, I produced the most resources. There you go. Not too bad. Um, I, I want to take a look. So let's, let's leave that game. I'm just going to quickly check the replay. I want to see exactly how much work the artillery did and whether there is an improvement i can be making with the control of my artillery because 
undoubtedly I can be paying more attention. And I will also say that I need to refine the macro of my build. Definitely, like, I had issues with build power. I was stacking up way too much metal. I think I needed to make more build power earlier. I probably should have gone into... I was going to say advanced solar, but that doesn't really make sense because I've got geo up. Um... Maybe even a couple more constructors could have made sense because then that kind of improves my the, the exponential gain of, of my uh, potential build power. So let's dive straight on in. All right, it's going to do this thing. See, you, you press the skip button, but it doesn't work. Oh no, it does. It just, it, it goes away, but then you, you got to just make it come back. Okay, so let's, let's go straight through. We'll 10 exit. And I want to try and understand exactly how much impact we had. Because I, th I think we did... Like, for, for us, our impact was much more mental than it was physical. And what I mean by that is that, you know, when you see those lightning tanks come into the back line, you just... You're like, okay, well, w w the, the game is done. They just give up at that point, right? Like, it's just... It's completely done though. Um, so, our front line, we've got a TS 26 and 17 against a 15 and 22. So, it's... I, I would say this is relatively fair... It, it, like, it could be much worse than this. And you can see that they're both, like, they're, they're all experienced players, right? Because if you have a, a true skill rating 17, but they've only got, like, one Chevron in there, don't trust that, okay? That's probably, probably like, a TS1 in disguise. Um, so th that's always something to, to note here. You can see, like, Rook's vegan on the enemy team, and nothing against Rook's at all, but it, it's very likely that he's just installed beyond all reason, and he's played one game, and fortunately he had someone, he's had, you know, he, he won his first game, so he's gone up to 18 TS, but... I mean, just as an example, I mean, like he's building solar on a map that has arguably the best wind that there is on an 8v8 map. It is really, really good. So, and, he, and yeah, and he's playing arm. So there's like, there's lots of different things to consider that, you know, not every, it, it, on this front line, I would say that it's quite even, uh, even, even though it's obviously a slight advantage to our team and just straight away bald going for <laughs> bald XD. <laughs> it, must, it must be an Asmund Gold fan, I suspect. Either that or he's going bald like me. Oh gosh, dude, I tell you what, it's uh, it's not fun to be going bald. It's it's so sad, man. I, I, I hate going bald. What, what do I even do with myself at this point? I, I, I was talking about it. I think I was talking about it on the main channel. I'm just going to have to buy like a a, 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 uh, a convertible or something. Like, uh, what else do you do? This is my midlife crisis. Yeah, so I, it definitely feels like our, our artillery is like really impactful. I'm going to turn it down a little bit as well. Just because we don't need to hear the shells blowing up too much. Enemy also putting down an agitator. I mean, we've already got the agitator out, so we were going to break through their defenses anyway. This is such an early agitator. This is kind of wild, right? Like, I guess you got two commanders up here, or like two people, so this isn't really going to get degunned. But this this could definitely get pushed, right? Like, it, it's not that strong. And th there's not even like a, a um, what's it called? A sentinel? Not a sentinel. A warden up here or anything like that to, to help defend. So I think that definitely helped kind of pave the way for this little attack down here. It did get cleaned up. Not a lot of damage done. If anything, a little bit of a donation of metal. Three mid lol gets called out. I mean, to be fair, you guys have got three mid as well. So I, I, I don't know if that's necessarily a complaint that you can make. Uh, your, your pink guy is literally just rallying thugs to the middle of the map. And how are we? We've got our T2 is up now. God, we're at eight minutes, so we're already. Uh, I, I can definitely refine this build order quite a bit. It, it, it didn't feel that good to me on our timings and things like that. Build, build power was, I think, the main issue. So yeah, I, I think the shell shock has got really good value. And the question is like, where do you want to stop on the shell shock? Because I was thinking of going up to 10, but I don't think it really makes a difference, right? Because at the end of the day, as long as you've got vision on the target, the shell shockers are going to obliterate it as long as they can see it. So whether that's five, whether that's 10, I think that's, that that's fine. Um, and I feel like any more than that and you're just kind of hanging around for, for no real reason. Like, the, the value that you get off five is significantly greater than the value you'd get off two or three, but the value that you get from ten would be much lower, I would say. So, well, not much lower, but it, it would obviously be higher, but it wouldn't be the, the same magnitude of strength. So I think five is, like, the sweet spot. And then the lightnings. Like, this is pretty early. I mean, ten minutes, eleven minutes. So not, not the earliest, but still... So what's their pink play doing? Their pink play is also going into uh, into T2 bots and also going into um, into Jaguars. So, I mean, th they know exactly what's up right here, like the Geo. Uh, let's, I, I just want to check in on their back line. So he's going into Fusion already. This is not the fastest Fusion from the back line. Normally around this time, you would have your Aphis done. So Gaith, I'm, I'm just... I mean, Gaith is playing a different style of game. We can say that much right now. Like th this madman is... 
he's a fan of title generators, it seems. Uh, I, I haven't actually tried this. I should probably give this a go, man. Like, if, if he's doing it and he's good, like, surely there's got to be something to it, right? Um... Oh, did, he made the council, did he? Yeah. You know, I, I only... Uh, just before I made this video, I started up a little lobby. And I was just like, okay, I'm just going to check out, like, what everything can do in the vehicles. Because I genuinely haven't used vehicles with the exception of, like, the turtle. I used the turtle in a two-hour game that I play. I'm like, I'm going to try this. And I sent 55 turtles to the enemy. And, yeah, that, that was uh, that was all she wrote. Uh, but you can see, like, our timing here is really solid. Our mass is wonderful. Oh, gosh. Uh, that is not what I want. Um... But uh, at this point, if, like, we, we feel so, uh, so good. And rightfully so, rightfully so. Enemy's got nothing here. Oh, there's a fair bit down there, actually, that we didn't spot. G Gaith made the right reaction, though, going for the, uh, what did I call it? I can't remember what I called it, like, the lollipop or something? Mid-diff is what they call it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the mid-diff. That was it. So this is smart from Scarecrow stands here but you you can see that we we prepared for this right like i i knew that there there could be a commander on the back line i specifically said like we're spreading out to avoid a d-gun uh so we we've managed to do that we buy we bypass the d-gun we save quite a few of our uh jaguars as a result of that we get behind him but fortunately like this this comes up right on time the scorpion comes up right on time look at this it just protects the base perfectly so this is definitely you know I, i've got to look at doing this score I, I think this is what i put up on the other side right i put the arbalist and I thought I put it down. I must have cancelled it. But I, I was 99% sure I put it down. I'd, I'd have to go back and check the logs. Even though technically we're checking the logs right now. But you get the point. Dude, that comm's pretty low, actually. I didn't realize how much... And look, look at this big mistake here coming from me. He gets a free D-gun on three Jaguars. We just started moving them. Uh, but, I mean, at this point, the damage is done. Like, we might have got a fusion or something like that. But we basically killed one of their backline. And now, now green on our front line. Man, look at the spam coming out from green. Yo, can I just say respect right now? Who am I respecting? Bald XD. Dude, look at this. When I say and just make T1 at front, this is what I'm talking about. This is how you do it. Look at this. This is just... Mm, chef's kiss, dude. He's just spamming like a madman right now. Commander over here, bald. I want you on my... Bald, I'm just letting you know. If I'm making a clan of bald dudes, you are going to be my team captain. That... Like, th this is... If, if there's somebody I want on the front line, it's this guy. Like, this is this is good spam right here. I am I'm impressed, man. And he's from Australia as well. That way that that's how Okay, we, we gotta talk about this K Corp. What's happening here? Is is does K Corp where's K Corp's commander? He's over here, but he's not doing the reclaim. See, that's the difference. You got bald out here just doing the reclaim, so he, he can support his addiction to T1 back at home. But anyway, that's gonna be it. Uh, so overall, I think the most important thing for me is just like refining my strategy. Uh, refining my build order, making sure my early game's a little bit more solid, um, and then just making sure that my control of the Jaguars is a little bit better. But I think overall, that that's a pretty solid strategy. Like, head, heading along this side, this side, it definitely feels like it's the most open. My fear coming along here is that the commander is going to have way too much control over this avenue. So it's just... This is a really dangerous area to attack into. Whereas attacking down here, you've got a lot of room to move. So I think this is always the best side to hit. Uh, but yeah, coming down here, like we, we peeled off one here. We sent off one up to there. I don't actually know exactly how much damage that did. Uh, and then hitting the back line, that's the key. But I think overall, this is a pretty solid strategy. Anyway, let me know if there's any improvements you guys can find. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you leave a like. And of course, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching.